Heyo, SallyBC here, and today I'm doing a video on the Transformers Wolf Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Leader Class Megatron. So here he is in his really nice looking purple T-Rex mode, and I know what you're probably thinking, that's not Megatron, Megatron isn't a purple T-Rex, and you'd be right, because this is Beast Wars Megatron. A Predacon, the descendants of the Decepticons, who named himself after the original Megatron. The organic texturing on this guy, like many other Kingdom figures, is amazing. And the green stripe going from his neck all the way down to the tip of the tail really accentuates it. The tan underneath also helps to break up the colours some more and not make it look so samey. The head is obviously based off the T-Rex from pop culture, like Jurassic Park rather than the head sculpt from the show, or a more realistic T-Rex. That was probably a good decision, as this is much more recognisable. The teeth are painted a popping white, and the inside of the mouth is made from a different coloured plastic, which can be seen in other places throughout the figure. There's a 5mm port in the mouth, so you can put blast effects in. The mouth has a pretty cool feature where if you open the bottom jaw, the top of the head moves with it. This also works in reverse. The head is nicely finished off with these red eyes. Unfortunately, they look a little bit dead due to not having any creeples. I'm not saying this guy should have pupils, they would look a little unsettling in the robot mode. The articulation on this guy is pretty phenomenal for a beast former. The previously mentioned opening and closing mouth, these hinges can also be used to move the head up and down. The head is able to rotate left, right. The neck can move really far up, pushing this panel out the way. There's also a hinge here that can move left and right, moving these spring-loaded panels out the way. Both sections of the tail can move left and right, as well as Swivel. The arms are on board joints, so have a wide range of motion for how small they are. The legs can move forward and back, but is unable to move out without breaking the mold. The knees are on a swivel and a bend, and the ankle can move up and down as well as pivot. Though it doesn't feel very good because the plastic is a bit soft and it feels like I'm going to break it. Speaking of the plastic, yeah, the entire outer coating of this guy is made from that same soft plastic. I assume it's to make it look more realistic but it really just makes the transformation a pain. That aside, despite this being a beast mode, the articulation is really good and allows for some great poses. With all that being said, sometimes moving the legs can untap this back panel and can be quite frustrating to get it back into place. Now, of course, this guy will never scale with a normal chug collection since the Beast Wars cast are so tiny in comparison, but this guy is still really nicely sized. Here he is next to Earthwise Optimus Prime, Another leader class beast former, Power of the Primes Optimal Optimus. Another modern leader, Kingdom Ultra Magnus. My previous Transformers video, Collaborative's Ultimate Expanse. I transformed this for this video, you better be happy. Another Kingdom T Rex, Deluxe Paleotrex. Stand up! His G1 counterpart, Siege Voyager Megatron. And just for the fun of it, the LEGO Creator 3 in 1 Mighty Dinosaur T Rex build and the T Rex Breakout T Rex, as well as a LEGO minifigure. Oh. Now, onto the unscripted part the transformation. You're going to want to start here at the thigh panels and just flip those up. As you can see, it's already unclipped here because it never likes to stay tabbed in. So, you want to take this part, move it up, clip it into place. It will probably fall out later anyway. So, you want to straighten out the tail. Just lift the legs up like this and swing the tail around. These pieces here are on a double hinge in there. So you want to move it out, in, and in again. So it's like that. Same on this side, move it in. These panels here can be pulled out and they swing up and plug back in. Next, you're going to want to come to the underbelly and just split it open like this, swinging it out. You're going to want to get these panels round like this and then just close that up next up you're going to come to here and just flip out the head then take this whole section and detach it here move it up this section can now swivel around and this peg here will go into there and just collapse down like that on the back like i said this fell down you just want to move it up and just turn these down like this. Next up, you're going to want to take these dino arms and just fold them in like that, and then close this panel down. Coming to this arm, you're going to want to open this up and then fold it over. Now, the thing is, it seems like on later versions of this figure, this plastic is, it just doesn't like to work. So, what you really got to do is just finagle this plastic over that piece and get it over like that. 
Now it's a lot harder on this side because I have to pull this up and then squeeze it over this piece and like that and you can see it folds this piece up. This might break at some point. Next up, you'll take the tip of the tail and just twist it around. Then come to this piece and fold it down like that. Back foul down again. And then finally, coming over to the this arm, you just want to spin it round like that. So here is Megatron in his robot mode. And this looks so good. There's a bit of kibble on the back, but this ain't no masterpiece. What do you expect? The green and tan carry over into the robot mode and looks quite good despite not being show accurate. Most of it ends up on the back anyway. His body has a lot of sweet paint on it with most of his chest being painted in this dark silver with accents like teeth and vents being in this lighter silver. Why on earth does he have teeth there anyway? Some sort of tribal necklace? Are they the teeth of his enemies? Yeah, probably not. Tell me your ideas in the comments. The head looks like it was plugged straight from the screen model and it's painted immaculately, especially with this tiny Predacon insignia on the forehead. I have heard that the hips can break on this guy and I can definitely see that happening with the amount of force needed to transform it. Though luckily mine is fine, which is not something I can say for the whole figure since this tab on the back broke off practically instantly and as you've seen it now has trouble it now has trouble staying on sometimes now that can actually be fixed by transforming the dino arms like this instead of hiding them away but that's not my only issue with this figure <sighs> these legs are so floppy i know there are ways to fix this but i really can't be bothered to find out how and then do it on top of that <laughs> Who do you think I am? For articulation, the head is on a swivel and this transformation joint can be used to get some up, I guess. Not really though. It can be used in very few circumstances, but not many. The arms are actually more different than you might think on first glance. Each shoulder is on a swivel and is only slightly limited by the backpack. But this arm is actually on a butterfly joint as well, whilst this one is not. The arms can both go out, but this one goes much further. The bicep swivels are the same. His left elbow has a 90 degree bend, as well as being able to go backwards. And the hand has this really weird joint. Like, what on earth is the point? I don't understand when I will ever, ever use this. It's baffling. The claw can also open and close. This swivel can also be used as well as the hinge, but I don't really think you'll ever use that. The other arm has a really deep elbow bend and the dino mouth is the same as before. He has an unimpeded waist swivel. His legs can go forward this far and back this far. They can go out this far, but if you move these cool tiny guns out the way, which are unfortunately not blast effect compatible, they can move further out. The knees are the same as before, bend and swivel. And finally, the feet are also the same, again with that weird tilt that feels like it's going to break and the up and down. Man, this guy can move. It is really fun to get this guy into poses. Or at least it would be if it wasn't for the aforementioned floppy legs. They can really make posing it a struggle sometimes. One weird thing with this guy is his right arm. Going by the sculpting, the arm is supposed to be this way round, but not only does it look goofy it really can't move like this really it should either be this way around or this way around i also wish that the elbow could bend this way maybe an extra swivel somewhere could have help with that for comparison here is earthrise optimus prime another leader class beast former power of the primes optimal optimus another modern leader kingdom ultra magnus my previous Transformers video, Collaborative Ultimate Expanse, I transformed it again for this video, you better be happy. Another Kingdom T-Rex, Deluxe Paleotrex, stand up. His G1 counterpart, Siege Voyager Megatron. And once again, just for the fun of it, Lego Creator 3-in-1 Mighty Dinosaur T-Rex build. The T-Rex Breakout T-Rex and a Lego minifigure. 
There are very few 5mm ports on this guy, like most other organic beast formers. Of course there is the hand and the one that I mentioned inside the mouth. There's one on the bottom of each foot, and that's it. Can't really deck this guy out with weapons, can you? Ultimately, this guy is amazing. One of the best kingdom figures I have. If you don't have this, I would absolutely recommend getting it. It's worth the recommendation on dino mode alone. Yeah, this thing is amazing. Yeah, but uh, that's about it. My links are in the description, so I guess that's Salu BC out. Oh, punctured it with his toenails. Anyway, next time we look at another dino. This one with some claws.